Hey guys, before this video begins, if you enjoy all of my content, make sure to smash that subscribe button and to hit the bell next to the subscribe button to turn on notifications. It'd mean the world to me if you did it, and plus, then you can join the Rock Army. I'll see you guys in the video. Next. Uh, hello? Name. Um, it's Aviator. Aviator, Aviator. Ah, uh, uh, yes, here you are. You're assigned to Hughes Hall, second floor, room 222. You'll be rooming with a boy named, uh, where is it? Ah, Ryan. Move to the next table to receive your wand and schedule. Yes, sir. Next. Hello, my name is Megan, and this is my brother Nathan. Megan, Megan... Ah, yes, here you are. You'll be assigned to Felicity Hall, 4th floor, room 417. You'll be rooming with a girl named Petunia. Move to the next table to receive your wand and schedule. And Nathan... Ah, twins, I see. Well, Nathan, you're assigned to Hughes Hall, 2nd floor, room 224. Move to the next table to receive your wand and schedule. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next. Well, hello, freshmen. Welcome to Wizard High. We have quite a few clubs here to choose from, as you can see. I must tell you that joining a club can lead to you having the best experience during your time here at Wizard High. Thanks, but I'm already signed up for the Society of the Silver Limb. My brother used to be the head of the club, but he graduated last year, so now I'm going to be head of the club. Oh, that must mean you're Jay. Yep, that's me. That's the club that we want to join. We already know all about it, and we talked about it before we even came here. Yes, that's right. Please sign us up for the Society of the Silver Limb. Names are Megan and Nathan. What's the Society of the Silver Lime? Not Lime, Limb. Right. Whatever. What is it? It's only the most important herbology club in the world. Herbology? Who would want to be in a plant club? <laughs> That's ridiculous. I definitely don't want to be part of that club. Is there some kind of like Quidditch club or something? Well, no club. But you're always welcome to try out for the school team. Tryouts will be held Thursday at 3. Right. Well, sign me up for that. My name is Ryan. Huh. That sounds fun. I think I'd like to try that too. My name's Aviator. Aviator. I think you're my roommate. Awesome. What do you say we go check out our new rooms? And what about you? Do you have a club you'd like to join? Well, um, I think the Herbology Club sounds interesting. <laughs> uh, sign me up for that. Um, my, my name is Bert. <laughs> Another plan, Ed. Have fun with that. Very good, Bert. Now go off, all of you. Go explore your new rooms and have a look through the castle before it's time to meet up for dinner. Um, I guess I'll just head up this way, I guess. Oh, oh. hey, man. Uh, hey. hi. How's it going? Hi. Good. Uh, did you, are you new for registration as well? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just signed up. You know, parents, oh, hi. parents kind of wanted me to sign up, so I did, you know. I think Your parents you know, wanted you to? Yeah, yeah, my parents yeah. Were, were wizards. Anyway, hey, I'm going to explore the main hall. You want to come with me? Uh, sure, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Um, uh, my my name's Jay. Oh, hey, Jay. Nice to meet you. Do you have any, were your parents wizards at all, or? Um, I don't really know too much about my family history. I kind of my brother was in this school, okay, and uh, he used to run the herbology class and stuff. So oh. now I guess I'm gonna be the head. Dude, person look at this. Place. I don't know. What the? Oh my god. Uh, this is so cool. Oh, 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 oh. Don't go up here. What? Oh god. Be careful. 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 Oh jeez. Oh, what is this? What? Hold on. Why would they? This is dangerous. My parents went to the school. Staircase? What's going? Oh, oh, who are they? I'm gonna ignore them. I don't like. I, sorry, if oh. uh, sorry, I'm not a big fan of other wizards and witches. I'm just not. Let's let's. Oh, that's just, cool. That's like, okay, man. It's, like, I understand. It, it has nothing to do with like me being shy or anything. It, it's just more or less, you know. I don't know. So I've been. Well, okay. You know, the I thing you, is, man. half the people here, you know, I, I feel like you know they're they're new to wizard being a wizard or being a a witch. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. So, oh, I get what you mean. Right. I mean, okay. I've been doing it for so long. I don't know. It, it, maybe it's a weird prestigious thing, but I don't know. I whatever. I don't really care about being a wizard. More of my family wants well, me to be one. So, um, yeah. So this is the grand hall, I guess. I mean, I remember being here as a kid. Good. Do we maybe just explore around? You want to look bit? outside we'll a little look bit? Look Let's look outside. Yeah, That's sure. a good idea. Oh, Whoa. it's a nice sunset. Look at this place. It's huge. Oh my lord! It's like a... this is crazy. This place is absolutely it massive. Was... Feels magical in a way. This is awesome. Wow, you're funny. Magical. Mm. Oh wow. Yeah. Throwing out jokes already. <laughs> what, okay. What, well, what? it's fine. It's fine. Hey, Whatever. Okay. I'm I'm kind of nervous. Okay. I'm just trying to find ways of trying to settle no, in. No, I understand. Ways, I know? understand. Sorry if I'm coming across this like kind of rude here. What, what's down here? Oh, it's fine, man. You think we're allowed That's down good. here? Um, There's no signs. I don't know. Hey, well, cool. Let's just have a peek. Let's just have a peek. The guy said that we can go and explore. So oh, it's just, just, it's just a explore. connector to the bridge. It's no dungeon or anything. Look at this. As long as we don't get lost, you know, I'll be fine with that. Look at this. It's Ooh. a connector bridge. We're on. We're on the bridge. Let's oh, go. right. Let's head over here. Oh, that's a long drop. Okay. I, I eventually want to see my room. I wonder where my roommate is. So, have you actually ever practiced with any magic? You said you uh, had, you little, know, your parents. A little. Are... Well, yeah. Um, mm. I know magic. If that helps. Um, but like. But you haven't practiced it yet. Um, no, I've practiced some. It's just like not like an insane amount. That's why that my parents sent me here because. At home, I wouldn't try at home. My parents were always like, you got to practice your magic. And they were going to teach me themselves and, you know, homeschool me for magic. But they figured since I wasn't, that wasn't doing anything and I refused to kind of participate, they were going to send me here. And they think it's going to make a difference. But, you know, I mean, whatever. We'll figure it out. Maybe I'll end up liking yeah. it here because at home, ugh, no. Fair enough. Well, I have personally, I've always wanted to study magic properly. And I don't know, it kind of sounds pretty stupid, I guess. But I kind of want to become one of the greatest wizards there ever was. That's, yeah, that's, that's my ambition. I, I feel guess. like everyone wants that ambition, though. You know, they want to, they want to be like some of the great wizards of all time. I mean, I just, I don't have any big ambitions. I guess. I mean, good for you. You know, I, I hope you accomplish them. I and mean, I'm sure I'll be seeing a lot of you here now that we're all here. I and mean, we haven't really been assigned anywhere to teams or anything yet. But here, let's go ahead and uh, let's go back to the grand hall. We should probably wait there because aren't they doing a big ceremony to start off? I mean, I know yeah, they said yeah we could explore a little bit and then come back for dinner. I mean, well, the, the, yeah, I the one thing right. we have in common is our parents are very similar. I mean, your parents brought you here super early, too, before any of the other wizards or witches sh showed up, I'm guessing. There's yeah, only a few kinda, people here. Yeah, they're kind of quick to get rid of me here. They, they really want me to study here, but so do you do think mine. maybe... I, I get the feeling that all of the new people, we're all going to get grouped together. I, I get the feeling that's the way this place works. I mean, yeah, it's possible. Um, I, I mean, everyone could get... We could be all on the same team, but I mean, they remember, they have like separate groups don't they or unless they change that policy that was when my parents were there my parents used to brag about yeah. being on a certain teams maybe the policies have changed since then i really don't know anyway here's the grand hall let's go welcome students to another year at wizard high my name is headmaster fayusid harad I trust that you've all moved in comfortably to your new rooms and are ready to begin the year with fervor. So, wait, this is our headmaster? He's got a really strange name. Shh, I'm trying to listen. Your first classes will start promptly at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Please make sure to double check your schedules so that you know where you're supposed to be. This is especially true for you freshmen. What? Does he think we're stupid? I said shh. I know many of you have signed up for various clubs within the school, which I wholeheartedly encourage. I think belonging to something bigger than you are can be one of the most rewarding purposes of our lives, and participating in a school club is the first step towards doing something very important with your lives. I couldn't have said that better myself. Yes, very wise. What? You're not gonna shush him? No, he talks sense, but you? Shh. I know that if you dedicate yourselves to your studies, put every effort into full involvement with your clubs, and learn to work together as a family here at Wizard High, you'll find that your time here will be fulfilling and rewarding. And so without further ado, let's tuck in and eat. Where are you going? We're gonna go explore some more of the castle. But you can't. Why not? Because you're not supposed to be in the halls during dinner. It's one of the school's rules. Didn't you read the Wizard High policy manual? Seriously? You read that? He's right. You have to stay here. Forget that. I'm out of here. Gentlemen, I couldn't help but overhear your conversation with your friends. 
and I can't help but wonder why you would ignore their very wise caution. Oh, uh, well, we didn't think it was an actual rule. And why ever would you think that? They cited the school manual. Well, um, I thought they were just making it up. You did? Well, I'm here to tell you that they did not. Therefore, since you both neglected to read the manual and blatantly ignored the warning of your friends, I'm going to give you detention. You are to report to the Herbology Room at 4 p.m. tomorrow afternoon, where you will promptly add your names to the Society of the Silver Limb. Aw, oh, man. I don't want to be in that club. I just want to play Quidditch. I assure you, young Ryan, that it is quite possible to do both. In fact, many students have participated in multiple clubs at once over the years. I myself was part of three clubs at the same time during my senior year of high school. At any rate, you have no choice. This is your detention. Meet it with honor, if you can. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. And now, since it seems you've finished eating, off to your rooms. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, uh, hey uh. there. Hi. Guy laying on the bed? Are, are you my roommate? <sighs> oh, uh, yeah, I think so. I think I'm your roommate. Oh, uh, okay. The name's well, Ryan. What's yours? No, oh, it's, it's Aviator. I'm gonna be the greatest wizard there ever was. Oh, uh, I'm gonna be the most average wizard I possibly can. Oh, well, I guess shoot for the stars, why don't you? Exactly. So, is this our room right here? This, uh, it all comes with this? We yeah, yeah, let, let me give, give you a tour. Yeah, Couch, bed, bed, desk. Oh, thanks for the tour. Yeah, I got you. It's, it's pretty nice. Not gonna lie, it's a lot better than my room back okay. in my house. Um, it was oh. like a closet. Yeah. Uh, by the way, this is uh, this is our mail mirror. Um, mail mirror. Yeah. So we have. If you come to the front, I'm sure. Actually, you walked in. Did you see the mirror at the front door? Or no? Yeah, I saw the mirror at the front door. Yeah. People can give us mail through the front door. So they throw something in the mirror, and it pops out right there. Okay. So that's good to know. So if we ever want to toss things at each other, we can toss them through the mirror. Or if someone wants to give us a letter or something like that, yes. Huh, wow. This place really is magical. Pure magic. That's why I wanted to come to Hogwarts ever since I was a little boy. And now I'm finally here. <sighs> the dream. You know what? I'm You're really excited hungry. for this, aren't you? Oh, yeah. I'm, t I'm stoked. Oh, but I'm okay. also starving. So we should probably get going to the Great Hall so we can grab some dinner. Yeah, actually, I could go for some food. Food sounds nice right about now. Okay, yeah. let's go grab some food. We're going to be best friends. I can feel it already. Oh, for sure. Wait, 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 wait. Do you what? hear that? Hear what? I hear somebody whispering. What? I don't hear... Oh. I do hear that. L let's let's listen in. It, okay. it, it could be something important. Okay. Or maybe it's girls it's not, talking wait. about how cute we are. Uh, okay. Uh, I could go for that part. Yeah, let's listen. Okay. Quiet. Do you hear that? Yeah. Who is it? I don't know. But it sounds serious. Let's hide over here and listen. I'm telling you, Scylla, he knows. I don't think he knows. I think he's just using his power to make whatever decisions he wants. No, that's not it. He's done this for four years in a row now. I'm the herbology teacher. It's ridiculous that I'm not the advisor to the herbology club. There's only one reason why he wouldn't name me the advisor. And it's because he knows. Fine. Suppose he does know. What does that mean? Well, for starters, it means I have to report this to Arsenius right away. <gasps> Did she just say Arsenius? Yeah, I, I think so. Does that name mean anything to you? You've never heard of Arsenius Cutroth? He's only the most famous poisoner of all time. Poisoner? Uh, no, but never heard of him. Well, he's big trouble. Are you saying this herbology professor knows him? Well... It sounds like it. Wait, they're not talking anymore. Where'd they go? That's strange. I don't know. Come on, let's go back to our room. But Aviator, if she's really in cahoots with Arsenius Cutroth, then we have to tell somebody. Sure. Okay. Let's just tell the Society of the Silver Limb. It's so important. Surely they can do something about it. Ha ha. Okay, never mind. Let's just go get some food or something. Okay, that was some good food. We have to get back to the room, though. I'm exhausted. Oh, uh, yeah. It was a long day of traveling. You can say Literally that again. Literally the boat, and then signing up for classes, all that stuff. Yeah, it was terrible. Well, I mean, I can't yeah. say it was terrible. Better than being at home, I guess. 
Oh god, yeah, this is my dream, coming to this school. Can't really call it my dream, but I mean, it's nice to be here. Better than home, that's about what I'll give it. It's like staying at a three-star hotel. Was your home so bad, or what? No, my home wasn't that bad. Here, jump over here. Oh my god. Oh, no, that's, that's dangerous. Th that's, oh, it's a dead end staircase, gotta come back. There Fine. you go. Do you know your way back to the room? Heck no. Kind of. Okay, we well, gotta Okay, I was gonna say, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, we gotta go this way. Here, it, remember, it, it's the Grand Hall staircase. They ain't the easiest things to navigate. Yeah, it's constantly moving and turning around and yeah, every time I come in here oh, it's in a new order confusing. so here we go Nope, this ain't it. This is the fourth floor commons and we want to go to the top because that's where we are okay. Oh, we're on the very top. Okay. Yeah, this okay. is us up here. Here we go This is our common area and we go this way this way and we go up these stairs. Okay, here we go Ryan, do you know what you're doing? Yeah, we're right here, man. Trust me. I'm good. Okay. Okay. It. Okay. See, this looks right... familiar, I guess Yeah, this is it. Oh, oh, oh. hi. Uh, hey guys. Oh, oh hey, hey guys Oh, you guys snuck off from dinner early, huh? Now you're back. How was yeah, that, huh? Uh, yeah, just kind of exploring the school, you know? Yeah, getting a look around for things. Uh, Did you find anything interesting? Yeah, anything cool? Not not, uh, not really cool. No, not, not simple, really. pretty simple, yeah. Well, okay. we just kind of just sat around and ate dinner, and then we got oh. told just to head up to our dorms afterwards and uh, just I'm, be chilling. I'm pretty sure I told you guys you weren't supposed to be running around. It's not in the rules. Well, yeah, but you know, you don't always have to follow the rules, right, Ryan? Yeah, I mean, I uh -huh. just don't care, so it's all good. Oh, Whoa, whenever you rebel. guys get hurt, hmm. I'm not gonna feel bad. Whatever. Hey, we're the loose cannons, Ooh. okay? Doesn't matter to me. I'm going to bed. You I'm don't tired. need to be a loose cannon because I don't want you guys getting expelled. I mean, think of your parents. Okay, yeah, whatever, guys. Yep, whatever. Sounds good. Hey, good night. Night. Oh. All right, quiet, you freshmen. This is Herbology 101, and my name is Professor Levide. When you are in my class, there will be no talking out of turn, no touching of any plants without my express permission, and definitely no eating of any plants. If I have to send one of you to the nurse's station for consuming granulated marshmallow pods, there will be suspensions handed out. If you ever recover from the diarrhea, that is. Did she just say diarrhea? <laughs> yeah, gross. Shh. You know, I'm getting really tired of you shushing me. Shh! Now, for your first assignment, we're going to start with something simple. There are 250 plants on this side of the greenhouse that have matured and are ready to be planted into the garden outside. For the next hour, your job is to carefully unpot these plants and gently place them into the garden outside. Make sure you wear your gloves because the sap of these plants has a magical property that when applied to your skin makes you have a fit of giggles. Now, get to work! Oh man, alright. So, Zach, uh, I know you don't really like herbology that much, but I, I think I could maybe try to convert you. I What's maybe so show cool you about herbology? Things. It's all plant-based stuff and it's boring. I want to cast spells and, and fly on broomsticks. Look, herbology has like a really important part to play with wizard magic. It's... It's, it has a lot of important elements into it. I think you have a lot to learn about it. I could show you a few things. It's pretty cool. Do you want to be a wizard or a witch? It sounds like all you want what? to do is brew potions. It's it's a lot more complicated than that, okay? A lot more complicated. Look, just grab a plant or grab anything from okay, this greenhouse. Okay, I, I got a plant. dandelion. Okay, now follow me. I want to show you something, okay? We could do something okay. really cool. Okay, but just make sure you just don't let your curiosity get the better of you, okay? Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what's this? What is that? What, what is that big forest out there? That forest? Oh, dude, you don't want to go out there, man. That's a really, okay. You've never heard about the Enchanted Forest? No, why do they call it the Enchanted Forest? Man, I thought everybody would have heard this. I've heard many stories about this place. Okay, they're really not that great. We get told, well, I've been told from my parents and people who know about this place, never to go venturing in those woods. Ever. So... Ever. What, do they have a dark past or something? Has it claimed other wizards and witches, or... Is it just Some a wise tale? Some have said for it to be cursed. Some have said for it to be cursed. There are... I've heard many, many tales of monstrous creatures and evil little things living out there. Hmm. To be honest, from out here, it doesn't look that intimidating. It's just a couple flowers and tall grass and trees. How bad can well, it be? If, if I've learned anything from herbology, it could be that looks can be deceiving. I've heard many evil things about that place. Look, I know it doesn't look like much, but I've heard very horrible things and heard very cau horrible cautions about that place. Look, no matter what happens, never let your curiosity get the better of you. Never go venturing out into those woods. 
Never Ever. go venturing out to those woods. But, but, huh. The woods. Look, dude, don't worry about the woods for now, okay? That's not that's not what's important. We're in herbology class. It's so mysterious. Hey, guys, right. what are you guys talking about? Oh, oh hey, uh, man. this woods, I guess. Jay's telling uh, me that it's enchanted and, I don't know, haunted? Haunted. Spooky? Oh, haunted Ooh, spooky? That's cool. You might have to get back to work. We're okay, to hold, on, hold on. Transporting plants. Calm Wait, down, calm aviator. Down. Did you tell him about our spooky situation last night? Well, oh, well, yeah. What happened? What? Yeah, speaking of interesting things that happened on the first day, me and Ryan caught Professor Livid sneaking around the castle yesterday having like a strange conversation with someone named Scylla. Yeah, it was really weird. Do you mean Housekeeper Scylla? I don't know, her name was Scylla. Uh, I don't know who she was. Who's Housekeeper Scylla? Well, she's the wizard housekeeper, obviously. I didn't know we had a housekeeper. Who do you think makes your beds and cleans your room when you're at class all day? I, uh, well, it's a magical castle, isn't it? I just assume magic cleaned it up. Actually, all the housekeepers are muggles. What? What does that mean? You don't know what a muggle is? No. Ha! <laughs> a muggle is a person with no magical abilities. Usually, muggles don't know anything about us wizards, but sometimes when they find out, we let them work for us. You make it sound like we make them slaves, Ryan. That's not how it works at all. The wizarding world actually has very good relations with the muggle world. My dad sure wouldn't agree with that. He's head of the muggle memory division for the Ministry of Magic, and he's always complaining about the headaches he has because of muggles. Your dad works for the Ministry of Magic? Yep, he's the director of the division. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, cool. We were talking about Professor Livid's sneaky conversation though, remember? I don't like her. She's so mean. Ha! <laughs> She's just mad because she can't be the advisor to the Society of the Silverlimb. Actually, I think that's what she was talking about in the hallway last night. Yeah, that's right. She was complaining about not being assigned to be advisor of the Herbology Club. She kept saying, he knows. Who knows? I don't know. She never said. But what does that mean? He knows. That doesn't make any sense. Well, obviously she's hiding something, right? And it has to do with the Herbology Club or something. It's called the Society of the Silver Limb, and it's actually much more than just a club. But you'll never know how cool it really is because you decided not to join us. Actually, me and Ryan got detention yesterday for sneaking out of dinner, and Headmaster Idurad assigned us to the club as punishment. And according to my watch, this class is almost over, and we're due for the first meeting of the club in about five minutes. Am I right? Really? Wow, class went so fast. Cool. Our first society meeting. C come on, quick, I I'll show you where we're meeting. You mean we don't stay here in the greenhouse for a herbology meeting? No. What kind of a secret meeting would it be if everybody knew where the meeting was taking place? Uh, right. Makes sense. Look, guys, if you really want to know where it is, I, I could show you guys right now if you guys want to see okay, it. Okay, yeah, show us. Yeah. yeah. Really? Uh, I want to go see it. I okay, guess. I'm. I know my way around this school. Uh, you do? Mostly. mostly. I hope uh, so. yeah, Most, yeah. How? Oh, wow. You well, didn't I, seem I too confident about that. Yeah, just uh, a little just, bit. I know what I'm talking about, okay? Just just follow me, guys. I know okay. Where I'm going. Um, right. Okay. Uh, okay. We don't want to you be guys, late to the meeting. I'm trusting it's, you, man. It's okay. Silver limb. Oh, my dad Look, would be proud. My family's been running this kind of club for generations now, so psh, me lose anything or not know where anything is Psh, no i know I mean, it's a going. pretty big school yeah, okay. i mean i'm only here because i got detention so uh it's it's this way it's what, so it wasn't way. that way huh? no oh, no where, yeah i was just where, you know where'd you go, go? What? What? oh hello me and um, you lost uh, uh, this way guys, guys this way oh how'd you guys sorry. get lost already uh, i mean i don't know if i'm the one who's lost or if it's wait, jay over here Jay, are you this, leading us the wrong way? What? Okay. Yeah, I thought you said you no, know where no, we're going. I know Jay, exactly where I'm going. This is the charm Jay, different courtyard. Why don't we uh, just use a map? Yeah, uh, don't you have a map? Yeah, do I don't know, need do a map. Do you have any idea where we are? Uh, I know where I'm going, guys, okay? I, I just uh, don't think yo, you do. Yo, aviator, you do you hey, want to bail on detention? Here's a map. Take it. We're all friends. Oh. Oh, oh, right. Yeah, of course. No, totally. I was totally heading the right direction. Okay, cool. Where are you now? Just... Follow me for a second. This this That's way, guys. Oh, so this oh, we this is the direction oh, we were going. Oh, okay, wow. Yeah, I don't think wow. you did. We'll, we'll get there in a minute, okay, guys? Look, just follow me. Let's go. 
Um, okay, it was... No, okay, it's down this way. You really have no idea where you're guys, going, do you? I do, Come I do, on. I promise. There's gotta be one of these rooms. You got a map. You got a map, you got this. Um... Ah! Mm. Perfect. Oh, what's that noise? Okay. Oh, right. This is a painting. Yeah. Everyone stand I mean, back don't get me wrong, okay? it's a cool painting. Wait, this yeah. is a that painting. That is not cool, that is okay. creepy. Okay. <sighs> Alakazoo! Yeah. Follow oh, me, guys. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Alakazoo? Whoa. It's safe, guys. That's a Come spell in. word? Alakazoo. Let me try I this. Alakazoo! Come in, guys. Oh. No? No? No, no it's yeah. not working. No. I'll try. Oh, oh, I got it. Oh. I got it. Here we go. Ooh. I think Jay uh, opened it. Oh, I don't. Wait. I think you just yeah. opened it. I don't think we all. I think have to we do only it. had to do that once, guys. I think yeah. he, you right. just missed, Nathan. Okay, right, I'm gonna go sit in the seat. back corner so wow. I can sleep. Wow, I'll sit in the front. Yeah, I need to sit in the front. I need to get all good marks this year. You guys are overachievers. This is a club. It's not even a class. Yeah, exactly. What is that in the corner? <laughs> oh, don't don't worry about that. Listen. All right. Okay. Now. All right. Everyone, take your seat. I'm gonna bring this meeting to order. Oh boy, this should be good. For our first order of business, I'd like to officially welcome you all to the society that has more history and influence on the world than you can possibly imagine. Dude, it's a plant club. Actually, my friend, it's far more than just a plant club. The secret society of the Silverloom is actually a secret organization within the wizarding world that lives in the shadows but helps avert potential disasters from happening. We use our knowledge of magical plants and magical chemistry to create potions and antidotes to thwart the evil plans of wicked wizards all over the world. No, oh, come on. You've got to be joking. This is no joke. My father is actually one of the chief members of the Society of the Silverlim, and my older brother, who, who's actually graduated from Wizard High, he was the president of the Society when he was here. He's already landed a job at a chemist at a very important pharmaceutical company where he can influence the medical industry for both muggles and wizards alike. Really? Yes, really. Well, that's kind of cool, actually. Yes. Yes, it is. So, wait. You're saying that this club, th this high school club, is actually a recruiting ground for new members of the super secret society that saves the world? Well, yeah, pretty much. That's awesome. No wonder Professor Livid is so angry about not being the advisor. Yeah, about that. I've been thinking, what is it that she's so scared of somebody finding out about her? Huh? Well, you said you overheard her telling Housekeeper Scylla that he knows. Who knows? And what does he know? And what does that have to do with the Society of the Silver Limb? Ah, uh, all excellent questions. In fact, I think we'll make that our first order of business to uncover this mystery. Oh man. I don't want to go snooping around some professor's office. I joined this club so that I could learn about plants and poisons. Really? Me too. I think poison making is pretty sweet. Yeah. Imagine what it would be like to convince the prime minister to give everybody a holiday just by putting some influence potion in his wine. Or if you could just stop a war from happening by lacing every soldier's coffee with happy juice. Or if you could get a girl to finally like you by giving her a cookie filled with... Love potion. Um, yeah, or that. Ah, uh, don't worry, you two. The Society of the Silver Limb is all about those things, too. Well, I mean, except for making girls fall in love with you, but <laughs> nice try, Bert. Uh, anyway, not all of us have to be sneaky. I mean, in fact, that would be a little bit too obvious. Uh, so I think, Bert, you and Nathan can start doing research on introductory poisons. And, and I'll do research on antidotes so that these two don't kill themselves. Besides, you guys are just going to get yourselves in trouble by sneaking around and snooping on a professor. Fine. Megan, you learn all about the antidotes. Ryan, Aviator, and myself will tell Professor Livid and see what we can't figure out what a secret is. Aren't you going to make us say the pledge first? Oh, right. Wait, how do you know about the pledge? Do you really think I joined a club without learning about it first? Uh-huh. Uh, okay then. Alright, everybody listen up. Here's the pledge. Learn this by memory, because if you ever find yourself in a tough spot, any member of the Society of the Silverloom will come to your rescue if you say this pledge with your wand held high in the air with a brambleberry leaf wrapped around the outside. So make sure you always have a brambleberry leaf in your pocket. Okay, anyway, here's the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the Society of the Silverloom and to the linden tree from which it was born. One society working together for the good of the world, united in common purpose, Slinvinius Limbictum. Uh, what was that last part? Slimvinius Limbictum. It's a spell. 
When you say with your wand in your hand and a brambleberry leaf wrapped around the outside, it binds your soul to the pledge and sends out a message to the rest of the society and other members that have either joined or in need of help. Right, so Silvicius, uh... Slinvinius Limbictum! Silvincius Libictum. Got it. Great. Okay, everyone get to work. Bert, Nathan, Megan, there are books over there that I think you'll find helpful as you research poisons and antidotes. Aviator and Ryan, let's go see if we can't figure out what's up with Professor Livid. I haven't seen her anywhere. I haven't found anything yet. We've literally yeah, we looked, looked everywhere. The school. She might be huh. a ghost. Wait, now we're outside. I really don't think this is the right place. Yeah, where are wait, we? Uh, what, what about over there? What's oh, that over there? Wait. Wait, what does that say? Just stay away. Well, we stay can't go that away. way. I mean, we okay. could go that way. Wait, guys, guys, over wait. here! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, she, wait that's her. Yeah, that's, the, the, that's her. her. Yeah, she's over there. Yeah. She, wait, yeah. she, she turned, she turned. Where'd she go? Okay, okay. Which way? Did, who saw her? I didn't see her. I did. She was over here. Trust me. We saw her. Okay, I see where she went. Okay, we gotta be quick, guys. We can't lose sight of her. Okay. okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, Where'd she go? Which way did she go here? This is a fork. Uh, uh, did she go left? If you... Well, I don't know. Oh, I see her. I see her. I see her. Where? She's, oh, here. she's over there. She's over there. She is. She's Where going, is she going? To the greenhouse? The greenhouse Why? is... Okay. In the middle of the the night? It's almost dark well, she, out. She, she works... Herbology's her... You know, that's her thing. Maybe she just... Okay. Oh, we gotta be quiet, guys. We gotta be super quiet. I'm being quiet. Oh. I don't see her anymore. Here either. Hang on. Oh, oh god, there she is! Watch out, change! Watch out! Where's she going? It looks like she's going from greenhouse wait, to greenhouse. She's looking around. Wait, what? Oh. Stay, okay, stay out of sight. Don't move. Oh. Did she see I you? Look a tree. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Where'd she go? She went she's behind. Down she, here. Went, she went down this way. Oh, there she is. Wait, what is she up to, guys? Where'd she even oh, go? She was down this is way. She... Down this way. Down this way. Okay. Going to the greenhouse. Oh wait, guys, guys! I think she just what? She just left. She's going into the forest. She hit. Oh yeah, there she is. That's she's she's walking into the forest. Wait, wait, I thought we weren't supposed to go in there. Oh jeez. Oh, I don't like this. But I mean, we've got to we've got to track her, right? We've got to see what she's up to. I mean, what other no, no, choice? No, wait, to wait, 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 Jay. Wait, what? wait, wait, guys! No, I don't know if this is a good idea. Like, what if she's trying to like summon some monster or some beast? You said it's dangerous. Why would we go in there? Well, look, we can't handle ourselves. Think of it this way. I know magic, and you know, uh. Uh, some magic, some magic, maybe? some magic, and you know about plants. I know about oh, the forest God. too. So, so there we go. Dangers lie ahead. Are we really gonna do this? I mean, why not? Oh man, Jay, you lead the way. Okay, let's right. go. Okay, are you guys ready for this? Yeah, here now, we go. God. One thing I have to mention: if things get really scary and you hear lots of screaming, just run. Okay. Okay. Oh man. So wait, what type of things we, can we expect out here anyway? You don't want to know. You don't want to know. Guys, we can't go in there. It's the Forbidden Forest. Why is it called that? Because it's forbidden to go in it. Duh. Ah, yeah. Uh, that makes sense. But we have to follow her. I mean, don't you think it's a little bit strange that she's going into the Forbidden Forest at this time of night? Dude, I'm not going into the Forbidden Forest at night. It's already creepy enough during the day. But we're on a secret mission for the Society of the Silverlimb. Just an hour ago, I thought it was just a plant club. My commitment to this society is tenuous at best. Come on, Ryan. It can't be that bad. Are you kidding me? There's all kinds of crazy creatures in there. Like what? Like spiders, for one. Huge spiders! Ugh, I don't like spiders. My brother said that there are unicorns in there. I wouldn't mind seeing one of those. There are also angry centaurs and skeleton horses. And pumblewumples, and and I don't know, lots of other stuff. Well, I'm going. I wouldn't be a very good president of the club if I ran away on my first mission just because I was a little scared. You guys are crazy. Fine, I'll come. But you better not leave me behind, and we better not get lost. Wait, where's she going, guys? Don't lose her. Don't lose her. I don't know. We've been telling her forever. We found. Okay, we can't lose her this time. Okay. 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 She... Why is it so bright over there? What is she doing? Oh, let me let me see. Uh, she's got a wand out. She's got a wand out. Um, what? I, it looks I like she's know. casting some type of spell or something. What? Wait, the, oh, where'd she go? Where'd she go? What? Oh Hold my on. God. What? 
Wait a second. Wait, oh my god. Just look, there's a portal here. What oh the? Oh my god. She created um, this portal in the middle of the ground with her wand. Wait, 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 wait. Do you guys want to need go to follow it, right? No, 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 wait, no, no, that, no, no, no. Wait, yeah, does hold on, mean? hold on. What are you talking about? Go in there. Are you crazy? We don't know what's through that portal. Yeah, it's just a hole uh, in the ground. It, it could lead literally anywhere. It could lead to a different dimension for all we know. Wait a minute. Well, gu guys, we can't lose her. We have to follow it down there. I know what it might suck, but... No, 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 because to. literally, he's right. It could lead us anywhere. Think about it, think about it. You could end up in, like, a volcano world. You could yeah, end yeah. up in an icy world. You could end up back at your parents' house. You really don't know where it's going to go. Or and a I, prison or anything. Or how do we even know it's going to bring us to where she went? Maybe there's more to it than we know. Yeah, we didn't We didn't cast <sighs> the spell. I don't think we should do it. I don't think so either. <sighs> I I think we have to, guys. I oh, honestly think we no. have to. I don't I'm gonna, know. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. You guys no, no, please don't do it. Please don't do it. Wait, 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 wait. What? What? I'm gonna do I don't it. Know. I'm, I'm doing scared. It. I don't wanna no, do it. No, don't, don't. Oh, I'm doing it. Oh, he's gone. Okay, Ryan, he's uh, gone. You're going next. Uh, oh, God. Oh, what if it's cold? Go in it's there. Hot. I'm only doing no. it if you. Oh. Okay, here we go. Uh. Oh, my God. Uh. Where, are, Where we? are we? What is this uh. place? Uh. It's, it's huge. The trees are massive. This forest just got huge and really dense. This uh, is, we're deeper into the enchanted forest right now. This has got to be like the oh. middle of the enchanted forest. So do you Wait, think that so portal took us just to a different part of the forest? Yeah. I well, really don't know. I've seen... Did you guys not study anything about the magic world at all? No. I mean, nope. kind of. Okay, okay. Well, the enchanted forest, all I know about it, because I, I didn't pay too much attention, to be honest with you, but, but, it looks just like this. I've seen pictures. Well, but, And I, I look at all pictures anymore. in all books, so... So you're just telling me that this is the Enchanted Forest? Like I mean, I think so. Forest. I mean, again, I didn't read. I just look at pictures. So I'm just guessing. Oh, Wait, well, hang on. Guys, we're dealing with the problem with... I don't see the professor around anywhere. We yeah, to try Wait, to find yeah where did she go? Oh, Wait, I don't know. lost out here. Mm -hmm. And separated from her. And I think I hear some scary noises, guys. I, hear I don't like this place. Yeah, I think uh, I'm going crazy. I don't know if I, how long I want to be out here. Maybe we <laughs> should yell for her. Maybe you should just be like, Professor Levine, maybe should, should I yell for her? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, go okay. for it, go for it. Go. Okay, wait, go, wait, go, wait, go. wait, 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 Okay, next ingredient is Eye of Newt. Why does every potion for witches and wizards have to include an Eye of Newt? I know, right? They're like the hardest lizards in the world to find. Plus, it's just so cliche. Yeah, I, I guess. So, uh, why are we making this potion again? I thought we were going to make some potions of poison. Well, I need this, actually. I, I keep forgetting where I put my toad, and I'm afraid one of these days I'm going to... Find him dead in the bottom of my sock drawer or something. Nasty! Those socks would smell awful. Well, they already smell awful, but <laughs> that would probably make it worse. So, what's the next ingredient? Um, the book says three drops of ginkgo biloba. Man, magic has some weird sounding names for stuff. Yeah, but it's fun, right? Oh yeah, it's definitely fun. All right, well, it looks like this potion's going to be pretty good, but, um... Hey, have you gotten your brambleberry leaf? Um, I can take some, but, uh, what is in that book? What does it say? Uh, well, this is just kind of our brews and stuff. It's our potion introductories Ooh. and stuff like that. You want to check it out? Uh, yeah, sure, let me yeah, see. Here you go. All right. Oh, and here's you a bramble leaf. Oh, 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 oh. Or a brambleberry leaf, I'm sorry. Oh, I mean, I got... Oh, oh, nice, nice, nice. I mean, I got a lot of them. I got a... Oh, you got a lot of brambleberries? Uh, okay, good. Yeah. I just want to make sure everybody had theirs. I'm okay. sure. Oh, 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 what's wrong? What is poisoning me? What is? Oh, I don't know. What, what did you weird? do? Did I eat a potion or something? I didn't touch um, anything. You just started getting sick? Maybe Megan did it. I don't know. What is this? Potion of knowledge. Yeah. Oh, this is my oh. potion of knowledge right here. Smelly potion. All right. I got my potion. You got your potion? Um. Yeah. Good. Good, good, good. I think we are good to go. Oh, well, I'm going to drink it. Okay, I guess I'll drink mine too. Well, did it work? Oh, yeah. 
I put my toad in the toilet to keep him wet. I hope nobody peed on him. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, I, I just remember that Jay, Ryan, and Aviator have been gone for quite a long time. And it's getting pretty dark outside. Do you think they went back to the dorm? I was just about to ask about them. Let's go see if we can find them. Okay, but what about your potion? It's still steaming. Oh, it'll be like that for the next two weeks. It's supposed to simmer for that long. What is it? It's a surprise, Nosy. Now let's go. everywhere where could they be i don't know but i'm hungry can we just go get something to eat yeah me too maybe they'll be at dinner okay something doesn't feel right though what was that crazy sound uh, i don't know but it was really freaky yeah, it was. Uh, hey, wait. Uh, where's Ryan? Well, he was right beside me a minute ago. He must have got lost when we all started running. You left him behind? Well, you left him behind too. Well, uh, okay, uh, I guess you're right. Well, we had to find him. He's probably freaking out right now. I'm freaking out right now. Yeah, me too a little bit. It's just so dark in here. I wish we had some light. What about that one spell that could turn your wand into a flashlight? Oh yeah! I heard Megan use that last night! Wait, what were you doing with Megan last night? Uh, nothing. <laughs> J just hanging out. Uh, anyway, I think she said something like, Luminator! No, that's not it. But it's close. Try Lumosity! Huh. Lumosity! Nope. Hmm. Oh! I remember! Lumios! Awesome, nice work. Now, let's go find Ryan. Ryan! Hey, Ryan! Where are you? Quiet, man. We're in the Forbidden Forest. We don't want to draw any crazy creatures to us. Oh, yeah. Right. Uh, sorry. Uh, guys? Are you there? Aviator? Jay? I really hate this forest. I want to go home now. Guys? Is anybody there? <laughs> Help! Ryan! 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 Oh god, where'd he go? Dude, come on man, this isn't cool, bro. I can't believe we lost him! Oh, oh man, man, he was right beside us. We kind of just freaked out. It all happened so fast. Uh, after that noise happened, I just had to get out of there. I wasn't thinking about anything else but myself. Uh, does that make me uh, a bad person? Selfish? Kind of, but not really. No, oh, man. I don't know, man. There's no time to really think about that stuff. We just need to find Ryan and get the heck out of here, dude. I don't like this place. Well, now we're missing Ryan, Ryan and Professor Levide. This isn't yeah, I think, I think she knows where she's going, though. I get the feeling she's been here before. Wait, we don't. Do you know your way back to the portal? Like how to get out of here? Um, yes. Oh god, I hope Jake. Do you actually know, or is this more of like I, the hallway I, situation? I, I I totally know, man. You just you just gotta trust me, okay? I'll just it's oh my memory's a little blurry right now. I'll remember. Okay, okay. Ryan. 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 Get out of here. Where get out of here, man. Come on, dude. I don't like this, man. This isn't funny, I haven't Ryan. Seen, I haven't seen him at all. Out of everywhere we've been, I haven't seen him, dude. And I'm a bit that worried. little sound we heard that. Kinda has me creeped out. Something's oh, I don't definitely want to talk stalking about that. us in these woods. Ryan! Ryan! Oh man. What if he's over? What if he's in this oh no, he couldn't get over there. No, the wall's too tall. I don't even want to know what's on the other side of that wall. Ryan! What's over there? Right, there's nothing, it's just like an open field. Oh god. The whole bunch of Wait. slabs. There's nothing over there. I think I hear something. I think what? it's coming from the bushes Wait. over here. What is that sound? I don't know. Oh my god. It sounds like it's charging at us. What? 
What is that sound? Oh god. Oh god. Oh my goodness. Oh, what's that sound? It's, it's coming right for us. Uh, I don't know, but it sounds huge. We better get out of here. It's too late. It's almost right on top of us. There you are! Ah, oh, why did you leave me behind? We didn't do it on purpose, I promise. Yeah, we just started running when we heard that weird noise, and the next thing we knew, you were gone. I was really freaked out, and I'm pretty sure something is following me. What? Yeah, can we please leave this forest now? Yes, we've lost Professor Levine, so I mean, we may as well just head back to the castle. But, um, do you guys know which way back to the castle is? No, me neither. Oh, great. Well, I'm pretty sure it's this way. Alright, I think it's... I think it's this way. I, uh, I'm Are pretty you sure, sure anyway. Jay? You sure? Do you have a map? I, I'm sure, I'm sure. It just... I don't how, know. How Actually, sure? I kind of lied to you guys when I said I had a map. This is the map from the, the old one. The old map. Are you serious? Oh God. I'm hey. sure it's this way somewhere. This is going to be like the Society Wait, of the well, Silver Limb all over again. Wait, but how late do you even think it is? Like, back at the castle and all that. I, I have no idea, man. There's no orientation of time, like if this time relates to the other time, and I have no idea. Headmaster has to know no we're idea. missing, and if he, if, he, if he knows we're missing, oh, we're as good as But what if, what if they don't know we're missing? I don't know, well, we've been gone so long. Maybe they thought we, you know, know, I mean, but with us, the, I mean, the castle's so big, what if they thought we just got lost in the castle or something stupid like that? Well, that wouldn't be listen a first. Listen to me, it's, it's a win-win either way. If he does know that we're gone, then... You know, we, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble, but at least if we do get back, if we do get in trouble, it means that we've made it back. No matter what, we yeah, still make I it guess. back. And if he doesn't know that we're gone, we make it back, sneak back into our dorms, and it's like, this never happened. Yeah, but I'm okay. starving. Yeah, we haven't eaten dinner yet. Food. Yeah, he's got a point. I could go for some food. Oh, Alright, let's just keep looking at this. Being served? There's flowers. We should be really close. There's flowers near here, guys. We've got to be super a lot of close. Flowers. Wait, what is that? What are oh, these jars? On. I don't uh, know, man. I wouldn't touch like anything. They look like light jars? Yeah, Can Ryan, don't, don't run away kinda, again. Let me just touch it real quick. No, 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 Dude, no, no. Ryan, is this how you got lost last time? Oh, get away from that, okay. Ryan. I'll get away from it. This is how you got lost last time. Hey, okay. I'm trying to keep you at bay. Don't okay, want you getting okay. lost again. Well, look, we gotta. I'm trying to think. Oh, guys, guys, I found it. I found Did it. You find it? Oh. I found it. Oh, oh my god. I told you guys, I knew where it was the entire time. Yeah, okay, Mr. I can't even find my own club. Yeah. It was. Oh, there's zombies coming. What? Oh, God, we gotta go. Zach, let's get out no, of here. Okay. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, jump! Oh my God. Oh. Did you guys make it? Did everyone make it? Uh, I'm good. I think we're good. I'm good. I'm good. Is everyone okay? Good. Yeah, oh, I'm everyone good. Okay? Uh, one piece. Okay. okay. Uh, oh, it looks like it's pretty late, though. I think we're gonna miss dinner. Wait, what? Oh, I don't wanna miss dinner. I'm hungry, no. man. Yeah, I'm starving. Oh. Guys, we're gonna be quiet, too. We're gonna stay quiet. Why? Okay, okay. Because we're not supposed to be out of here, dude. It's like half the hours. Well, I mean, the headmaster's gonna kill us. Okay, okay. Be fine. We totally okay. fine. We're like ninjas. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Well, look, we have to now... get to the Great Hall without anyone noticing that we were missing. Well, well I mean, let's just sneak in. Let's why do we have to sneak in? from this point? We can just say we were in here the whole time. But why would we be outside during dinner? I mean, uh, good point. Yeah, exactly. we're, not, we're not allowed to be anywhere outdoors, like anywhere outside the dormitories at this time of night, man. If we get caught, we're done. We're okay, so well, busted. Then... Well, let's just, uh, let's hurry to the Great Hall then, okay? Okay, let's go, let's go. Go, 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 go. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so you know where you're Does going? Does anyone remember? Does anyone, I think I know, I think I, I, I think I actually know the way, guys. Do you, oh, okay. do you really? Okay, let's go. I think I actually do. I mean, I think. <gasps> I know where we are. Think. I know how to get there from here. Okay, how do we get here? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Tell me. Okay, okay. <laughs> We're just gonna follow so the right. We can go down here, and this huh? should lead to a bridge, and this will bring us to it. Oh, man. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. We're school pretty well Sm already. Oh, yeah, that's well, right. So. Well, it was it, well. It was because of our detention. I had to cut through here. Oh, oh. okay. Well, okay. either way. See, the detention paid off then. It did. You know, being delayed kind sometimes of, yeah. does pay off. Exactly. So you actually did learn something. That's, that's interesting. Okay, let's Wait, just get back. Wait, you think I don't guys. learn things? No, I'm saying you know how whenever you get detention, people are like it's to punish you, but you actually guys, learn something. It's empty. From no one's there anymore. Uh oh. oh. Shh, shh. oh. We for sure missed dinner. Oh no! Wait. Over did there. You see him? Yeah. It's Megan and all them. Oh okay. Oh. Well, they're still here. They're waiting for us. Maybe we can still <laughs> eat. There you guys are. We've been wondering where you were. We looked all over the castle for you. 
Is there some secret room we don't know about? Probably, but we weren't even in the castle. Uh, where were you then? In the Forbidden Forest. What? You can't go in there. It's forbidden. I know. That's what I said. But these idiots decided to go in there anyway. And you followed them? Well, yeah. I couldn't let them go in there alone. That was very brave of you. Well, thanks. Huh. <laughs> yeah, brave. You should have heard him five minutes ago. He was freaking out like a little five-year-old. I was not. Actually, you kind of were. Well, so were you guys. I'm not ashamed to admit it. That place was straight up creepy. Why'd you go in there in the first place? Professor Levine went in there. So we uh, followed her. And? And what? And did you figure out why she's sneaking around? No, we just got lost in the forest. Yeah, that's why it's forbidden. How did you get out? Jay got us out. Well, Aviator used a spell to light up his wand, and that helped. You used Lumos? Nice. Thanks. Well, it was a wasted trip. We didn't learn anything about Levid, and I'm pretty sure I need to go change my pants. I'm never going back in that forest again. We'll just have to keep an eye on her for now and see if we can't catch her doing something sneaky. Fine, but not tonight. I need to sleep. Tomorrow is Quidditch tryouts and I need to be ready. Oh yeah, Quidditch tryouts. Nice. This is going to be great! Quidditch is the best game ever! You know, I've never even played it before. What?! Yeah, I hadn't even heard of it until you said something about it the other day. Yeah, it sounds cool. Have you ridden a broom before? Well, just in our flying class the other day. Oh, wow. Well, good luck, man. Well, well, well. Quite a few of you are trying out for the team this year. I like to see that. Quidditch has a long and storied history here at Wizard High. Many student athletes from this school have gone on to be professional Quidditch players after graduation, so I expect nothing but excellence today. You might want to sit this one out, man. It doesn't sound like she's going to be picking any flying rookies. Eh, I'll take my chances. Your funeral. My name is Madam Hooch, and I am the team's coach and the school's flying instructor. I expect good sportsmanship on this pitch, so no fighting between houses. I also expect the highest level of competitiveness, so don't hold back with those beaters and bludgers. And most importantly, I expect expert flying. I want to see speed, agility, and daring. Now kick off and show me what you've got. Let's do this, Ryan. Here we go, man. Oh. 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 Man, all the way up to a couple minutes ago, I've been dreaming of being a Quidditch player. And now that I have a chance, I'm not going to let this slip out of my grasp. Wow, dude, you're you're really good. You're you're a natural at this. Hey, you know, it, it comes naturally. Flying a broomstick isn't as hard as it looks. You just kind of sit here and and kind of point where you want to go, and it, it just goes. It's it's like it's one with my body or something. Yeah, you're really good at it, though, man. Like I've never seen anyone for the first time be that good. It's it's crazy. I can imagine all the fans in the stadium just watching as me and you are. You know, what what do we do? What do we do in this game again? I'm new what, to this what, game. We we. Well, I mean, it's pretty simple. We just kind of go around, we fly, you get the balls and the hoops, get points. There's different, there's a whole point system. You should look well, into it before. What's, what's that golden thing? That, the, the snitch? The golden, uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, Wait, it that looks like, cool. it looks like she's disqualifying people. What, really? Yeah. Is, I see, is that why so, those people are landing? Yeah, so they land and then they, they walk up. Oh, okay, no. yo, yo, we got to do something impressive. Uh, Do some tricks or something. Like. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to go, fly go very hoops. dangerously close to uh, some of these audience members. Okay, okay. You know, I'm going to show her how... How daring I am. I'm going through the hoop, man. That'll show it. There we go. Okay. okay. I missed I'm it. Uh-oh. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think I can get it through this hoop. It's so small. Just it, give it's it a shot. It's balls or something, not for people. It is for oh, balls, man, but like, oh, man. it's really, it's not an easy shot. Here we go. Top going speed, for top time. speed. Going for the top hoop. Uh, uh, I did it. I made it I that time. It. I did it too. Okay, was... there we go. I think we're impressing her. I, I really know. think we're impressing her. Yeah, yeah. Just, are you going, you're going top speed and all that too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Show her that you can go fast. Yeah, if you show her you can go fast, I mean, 
Yeah, I mean, you're really good at this, man, so I'm sure it'll work out. It looks like one of the last people just landed. We're the only two in the sky right now. Oh, we're last two. Oh, man. I think she's calling us down right now. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, let's let's land, let's land. Okay, okay, okay. I wonder if this is a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know, it could be bad. Remember, because they already have some people on their team who are in upper grades. These are just the freshman tryouts. Oh, God. Uh, uh. All right, I've thinned out the herd, as they say. As you know, there are seven people on a team. Three chasers, two beaters, one keeper, and one seeker. Michael Pembley, a senior, is returning as team captain this year and will be one of our beaters. So that leaves only six places left. I'd really like to find an amazing keeper this year, and I'll be extra impressed if there's a quality seeker among the bunch. What's a seeker? It's the person who chases the golden snitch. What's that? It's a little flying golden ball. If you catch it, your team automatically wins. Well, usually. Sometimes the other team scores so many points before you can catch the snitch that you just can't catch up. But most of the time, the team that catches the golden snitch wins. Cool. I want to be that. <laughs> Usually the Seeker's the best flyer on the team. Well, I was doing pretty good. Sure, dude. Give it a shot. Maybe you'll get lucky. Quiet, you two. I'm trying to give orders. You think I won't kick two freshmen out of here just for talking? Sorry, ma'am. Yes, uh, sorry. Now let's run through some training exercises. I want to see you all- Oh no, Madam Hooch. The snitch got loose. Don't worry. I'll get it. Was he supposed to do that? Uh, I don't know. It does seem kind of odd that nobody else flew off. Do you think he was cursed or something? What do you mean? I mean, do you think that somebody put a curse on him and made him fly off into the sky? Well, that would be a really weird curse. What purpose would that serve? Well, he wouldn't make the Quidditch team. Uh, I suppose. But that'd be a little bit odd, don't you think? Well, maybe Professor Levide saw you guys following her and decided to take matters into her own hands. Wow, okay. Yeah, I could see that. Well, come on then. We have to go save him. Alright, well, come on. Let's let's go. We've got no time to waste. Sorry, guys. Okay, just... yeah. <sighs> Oh, excuse us. Sorry. I hope he's okay. He's flying really fast. Let's just go see if we can save him. Well, not save him, know, but check um, up on him. Do you have any idea where he might have went? Um, I have no idea. I only kind of seen the direction that he flew off in, so we can go check there, I guess. Okay, uh, yeah. That'd okay. be good. We gotta go down a little bit further. These tents are so high up. Okay, so it was this... I think it was this way. I'm really okay. not too sure. I'm a little bit backwards now. <sighs> what do you yeah. think he's thinking? Just flying off like that. He's just... Well, like, didn't we think that he got, like, hexed or Levine put a spell on his broomstick and he I had know, to it's just weird. go it was... somewhere? I don't know, it was acting super strange, but if we know Aviator, he's probably chasing after something right now, doing something crazy. Oh, wow. Hopefully. Oh, the forest is over that way. Uh, we don't want to uh, go that way. Okay. Really? Are you... Do you think he might have flown into the forest by any chance? Um, I really don't know. Like, the experience that we had the other day, the other night, sorry, we just, I don't think he would have gone anywhere near that forest. Well, I wouldn't if I was him. It was mm -hmm. terrible. It was really okay. terrible. I don't want to relive that at all. Well, I'm glad that you guys made it back. That's actually really scary. It was, it was really, really scary. We, the one thing that we didn't know is just where to go. Professor Levide, once we got into the forest, she was nowhere to be found. So she obviously really? knows, yeah, she knows that place, but we don't. And once we got in there, the only thing we seen was just dark forest and heard really strange, scary noises. Oh. I'm sure there's all sorts of creatures in there. Yeah. Okay, it's... well, hmm. do you want to walk to the castle and maybe look around there for him? Yeah, okay. I think we'll just have to go around this, the other side. Oh, man, this thing is huge. Oh, I really don't, I don't know how well we're going to go with trying to find him. <sighs> if only we had, like, I don't know, a beacon spell or something. Yeah, maybe. Oh, well, well okay. I guess we'll... Hopefully find him. Well, let's just, yeah, we'll just keep looking around for him. I don't see, I really, I don't think we're going to find yeah. him, if I'm honest. I don't think no, he's here. we walked around this entire castle. I know, my legs hurt. It's kind of a little bit tiring. Zach, you under that boat? Well, I mean, he was flying on a broomstick, so do you think he would even be anywhere near the ground? Uh, that's actually a really good point. I don't know, I've, we've searched everywhere else. I just, you know, thought we'd search everywhere. Yeah, I mean... Mm. 
don't, don't you think it's kind of silly that we got so worried? I mean, he was at Quidditch trials. He could have really just been trying to impress the teacher, right? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose that's a good point. So do you want to just... Do you want to just maybe just head back up to the... Where should we go? Like, he might have even headed back with the, by this time. We could just be wasting our time. Don't worry, I'm just... I just you okay? you know, went for a little swim. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. Um, no, yeah, we could probably just go back to the dorms. I'm sure he'll be there really soon. Yeah, okay. I, that sounds good to me. And if, and if I'm honest, I'm kind of getting a little bit tired. Oh, look, it's getting nighttime as well. That's good timing. That's really yeah. good timing. I'm getting tired and a little bit hungry, so I'd probably much rather just go look for some, get some food if I'm honest. Yeah, I, I'm sure he'll be okay. Aviators, you know, pretty good at flying from what it looked like. Yeah, he's resilient. Uh, let, yeah, let's just head back to the dorms and see if we can find him there. And it looks like Aviator's leaving the Quidditch pitch to go after the Golden Snitch. That's a very, very dangerous thing he's doing. But look it, he's chasing. He's in pursuit of the Golden Snitch. Full speed ahead. Oh my god, this Snitch will not evade Aviator. Could Aviator become one of the best Quidditch players of all time? Or will he let his team down? It looks like he's closing in on the snitch. It's trying to elude him, but it can't. Aviator's too good of a player. The crowd's going crazy. <sighs> oh wow, everyone is just hyped up right now thinking Aviator's gonna catch the golden snitch and win the game for his team. Okay, wait, what is Aviator doing? It looks like he's climbing altitude. It can't be. Oh no, is he gonna do a death dive plummet after the snitch? No one's ever successfully pulled it off and lived to tell the tale. Oh no, everyone pray for Aviator because it looks like he's doing it. He's diving, he's losing altitude, he's going after the golden snitch. It's gonna be a close one, folks. Is he gonna catch it and send his team into victory? Or is he gonna miss out on the opportunity of a lifetime? It looks like he's closing in. He's closing in. Is he gonna get it? He got the golden snitch! The golden snitch is in Aviator's hand! And they win the game! <laughs> yes! I can't believe it! Oh man, that was sick! That was one of the sickest things I've ever done! Wait, wait, is someone in the enchanted forest down there? Who is that? Who is that down there? What are they doing in the enchanted forest right now? Oh, wait, is that Professor Lavide? What is she doing back in the enchanted forest? Oh, did she take something out of that pond? Where is she going with it? Oh no, 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 I don't want her to see me. I don't want her to see me, come on, come on. Okay, I don't think she saw me. What did she take out of that pond? And why, why would she be out here again? What's in that pond? It looks just like kind of gross water. What could she need with that? Oh, man, maybe I should go down and, and check it out. Maybe it's something of interest. Oh, but I could get in trouble. What if she comes back? She'd see me and... And probably yell at me for being in the enchanted forest. No students are supposed to be out here. But if it's so dangerous, then why is she always out here? I gotta go check it out. I'm gonna go see what this is all about. What were you up to, Professor Levide? What is so special about this pond? There seems to be a lot of seaweed. But why would you want seaweed? What's this? Some kind of dead fish? And gross, its eyes are missing. Is that what you were doing, Professor Levide? Stealing fish eyes? That's just weird and gross. And why would you want fish eyes? And why do you have to get them from this pond in the middle of the Forbidden Forest? So many questions, sports fans, and not enough answers. What will our hero do? Well, maybe the Society of the Silver Limb will have an idea of what you were up to. I guess I'll bring this fish back to them and show them later. Ugh, oh, God, it stinks. There you are! Where did you go? We waited and waited for you, but eventually Madam Hooch said we had to call it quits and go inside. I caught the snitch thing, and then on my way back I saw Professor Levide in the Forbidden Forest. What? You caught the snitch? Yeah, why? You say that like it doesn't happen very often. It doesn't! Usually if a golden snitch zips off like that, it means it's a rogue snitch, and it's really rare if someone catches them. Only the best flyers can catch a rogue snitch. Huh. 
Well, uh, I caught it. Well, Madam Hooch will definitely let you on the team then. She was grumbling about another year without a good seeker and- Wait, 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 wait a second. Did you say you saw Professor Levide in the Forbidden Forest? Huh. Yeah, she was snooping around uh, some kind of gross pond. She didn't see you, did she? Uh, I don't think so. I was flying overhead and she never really looked up at me. That's good. Jane Megan had a crazy idea that maybe she was onto us and cursed you to get rid of you. Huh, I'd like to see her try. Where are the others anyway? I want to ask them about something about this fish. Ah, uh, yuck, that thing stinks! I know. Why do you have it? And, and why doesn't it have any eyes? I'm pretty sure this is what Professor Levide was messing with in the forest. Dude, that's gross. Why would she mess with some old rotting fish? I don't know. That's what I wanted to ask the others. Well, they're in the meeting room for the Society of the Silver Limb. Well, let's go then. Okay, Burr, it's turning a pretty ugly color of green. Uh, what's next? These instructions say to stir the pot six times clockwise, and then add a two-inch cut of canis root. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, add the canis root. I don't have it. I thought you did. Well, I don't have it. Uh, what happens if we don't add the canis root? Uh, I don't know. It, it doesn't say. Well, hurry up and think of something. This thing is making some really bad noises. Uh, just dump it out and we'll start over. Where? In the trash can. But what if it melts the trash can? It's better than blowing up our secret room. Good point. There you are, Aviator. We thought you were a goner for sure. He got the snitch! Really? Nice! Is that where you've been this whole time? Chasing the Golden Snitch? I was for a little bit. That thing was hard to catch. But then, when I was flying back, I saw Professor Levide in the Forbidden Forest, so I swooped down to see what she was doing. Wow. Did, did she see you? I don't think so, Bert. I was flying above her. When she left, though, I flew down to get a closer look at what she was doing. She was by this really gross pond, and the only thing I could find was this fish with its eyes cut out. That's a puffer fish. You said she got this out of the pond in the Forbidden Forest? Yeah. At least it was sitting on the side of the pond when I was searching around. It shouldn't be swimming in a pond. It's an ocean fish. There's no reason why it would be in a pond in a forest. What if it's a magic fish? Uh, there's no such thing as a magic fish. Actually, that's not true. In New Scamander's book, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, he writes about a fish that has a strong magical power that anchors ships in place. It's called the Remora. It's one of the most powerful magical creatures in the world. The International Confederation of Wizards enforce an anti-poaching law to protect it from illegal wizard capture. <laughs> Megan, you scare me sometimes. What? I like to read. Well, this isn't a Remora. It's a pufferfish. And as far as I know, it doesn't have any magical properties. So why would it be in a pond? And why would Professor Levide want it? Maybe she's making Verita serum. What's that? It's a truth potion. Say what? It's a truth potion. If you get somebody to drink it, they'll answer any question you ask them. It usually doesn't last very long, but it works every time. That stuff is seriously illegal. My dad told me about it, and our senior's cutworth uses it all the time to get information out of people that he doesn't trust, and then he kills them. Arsenius Cutroth uses it, and Professor Levide might be making it. And we overheard her the other night talking about Arsenius. Does anybody else think this is a little bit more than just a coincidence? Definitely. But why do you think she's making Verita Serum, Bert? Well, because one of the main ingredients of Verita Serum is pufferfish eyes. I definitely think we're onto something here, guys. But it's getting late and we have classes tomorrow, so let's just meet up again tomorrow after school and we'll take it from there. Hey there guys, did you enjoy the video? 
Well, I sure did. Wizard High is one of my favorite series. Now, if you want to see some awesome videos just like this one, head on over to the Property Idiots channel found in the description down below. Also, if you made it to this point in the video, I want you to drop a like. I want to see if we can hit 5,000 likes. We smashed 5,000 for the first episode. Let's see if we can smash 5,000 for the second episode. And if you watch this video to the very, very end, I want you to put the comment that you see on the screen right now. Take that phrase, throw it in the comment section. That way I know you're part of the end of the video club. And if you haven't noticed, I've been sending messages to those people who are part of the end of the video club. I mean, I can't respond to all of them because there's like thousands of you guys, but I respond to the ones, you know, like occasionally. I try to mix it up every time, send a new message, say hi. So thank you guys so much for all the support. And also, don't forget, secret message. Let me know you're part of that end of the video club by putting that phrase in the comment section down below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, and I will see you guys later.